Okay, once you're into your Wonder site, let's learn how to use uh, Simplified Login for your students. Regardless of whether they've been loaded into your class or not, Simplified Login allows students to use a short URL and an icon and a password that is icons, and that'll help any student probably K first at least, maybe some of second until they start to learn their email addresses or their Google logins um, starting as soon as you can. So I know the Google logins are long, so those will always work, but this will give you a way to, to build icon logins for kids, which is really uh, pretty handy. The worst part of this is you'll have to build those icon logins for uh, a class. And when you look in your Manage and Assign class, right here, this button, or at the top, and you go to Class detail, Details, you will see that your class, if it does not have this icon for simplified login, in this particular class, then I would edit this class and make sure this checkbox is on. And that allows me to use an icon, and I can pick one of 10 different icons for my class, and I can allow this to then have a short URL. So this link right here is to all of my classrooms. So let's say I have a class of first graders, but I also have a group of kids who I want uh, off grade level, and I also have a group of kids in intervention, and, I'll, you know, and I can build my own groups of kids. They all come to this address for Mr. Brown. Okay, So I'm going to copy this for now to have it, and I'll show you what we're going to do this later. I'm going to copy that just to have it later on so we can shorten that up. So once you have your class built, we'll talk through that too. So now we got to add students to this class. So I have nobody in it right now. If I have a list of students, I'm good to go. And I can just say print passwords and it'll print them. So I'm going to add a student. I'm going to blur out the content so you can't see it. So I'm going to pick a student here. I'm going to search. So I get a couple students. Check the one you want. So I just used the first couple letters of their first name, first couple letters of their last name from my roster so I get the right kids. When I save that, it adds those students to my class. Okay, And when I say print passwords, it will download my whole class onto a sheet that shows my name, my icon, their name, and their password. So the password is literally one orange red circle and it shows the address of that so that is another important thing so it'll print little cards that I can cut out and give to my kids okay so I've added my class now how do I get to it as a student so to get to it as a student I'd have to visit this address remember we copied this earlier I'm gonna open up a new tab I'm gonna paste that in And I'm going to hit return, and you will see my class, the one with the soccer ball. This is all my classes. I have two. Here's my first grade one that I have a sample of for direction building. Here's my fifth grade one. So if I click on this one, it's going to show me that student. If that student picks their name, they would have to know what that password was. One, orange, circle, and it should allow me to log in for that particular student, and they're in the software. So that's how you build your simplified logins. So that is going to be something you have to add all those kids to your class, print those password lists so you have that, hand those out to kids. Now to get this, to get them to this URL, remember we copied this. I'll do it again, copy. Couple of choices. Send that to your webmaster, choice one. Choice two, if you have your own website, make a link to it on your website if they know how to get to your website send it to your webmaster to put on a single page of classroom logins for wonders and they can build that in option three is use a service like tinyurl.com paste in the long URL into this box and if I say make tiny it's gonna give me a code if I down here write in what I want it to be mister brown first Let's see if that one exists. They have to be unique worldwide, so claim them fast. Make tiny, 
Mr. Brown first is available. So this is all the students would have to type in tinyurl.com slash Mr. Brown first and it would take them to my page. So that's how you build a simple icon list. If you ever need help with this on the district website under instructional technology, if you look under general resources, wonders and wonderworks, this is where I'm going to start building in help sites. So the login site for teachers, this is where our video is going to be. Help resources takes us to the wonderworks help or the wonders help site which has all the tutorials, video tutorials, handout tutorials, all kinds of tutorials for you to use. But I'm just going to keep referring to this site in case you need help because this is this is stuff that you can rely on your teams, talk to each other, help each other out, um, and over time we'll be very good at using the online version of Wonders.